Welcome back. We're in our third sequence now of uh, steps to set up a new D5 watch. And we've done a lot of stuff in just getting it configured and making it easier to work with. But now we need to get on to the network. We're coming back out of what we were doing before and we're going down to connect. This is where you actually go on to your Wi-Fi network. So you click not Wi-Fi. You're very familiar, I'm sure, with doing this with your phone. Turn it on and it's going to search for your Wi-Fi zone. And you're going to find either your home router or your work router or uh, you could even do it to a, a hotspot from your phone if you wanted to. There's my router, Smartwatch Ticks. It's a secured router with a password. So I press the button and it's time to enter the password. So here's the itty bitty keyboard. You might want to go in and this first time around, change your router password to something fairly easy to tap on this tiny keyboard. Later, when you're online and we've installed some other keyboards that are easier to work with, you could go back and change that router thing and reconnect. But for now, let's just work with what we've got. I made mine. Uh, I thought it was going to be simple, the letter A. I probably should have used Q. Anyway, I used A. See, I should have used Q, huh? A, 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 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I just put in 15 A's in my password, and I'm connecting. And we are connected. We are on the internet. The next thing you want to do when you're connected, come back out, go down to the Google Play Store. Hello, where are you? There we go. So you're on the internet. Now we got to connect into your Google environment. And you know how this works. You go through and you put in your Google account information, your email, and your password of your primary uh, Google account where you have been purchasing all of your apps so that you'll be able to interface directly with Google to reinstall those now into your watch environment. All right, I'm going to set mine up. And when you're done, it's going to come up and give you the standard Google screen to allow you to go further. Press the button and you get yourself all signed into the Google Play Store. An interesting thing you're going to find on this app and many apps that are designed for a rectangular screen is that it is mapped to a, a circle. In other words, they've expanded it so that the edges touch the edges of the circle. We're going to accept the terms. And when it does that, it cuts off the upper left and right and the lower left and right. It's, it's almost like, you know, the app is this big, but only that much is displayed. Now, this could normally be quite a problem because, as you know, with the Play Store and many other apps, you need access to the upper left-hand corner to get to your uh, menu or your, your, your main window of information. The upper right is often used to do a drop-down uh, menu as well. And some apps you just simply cannot use on a round phone until we figure out a way to cram it down into uh, a square within the circle, which is going to make it really tiny. But you could get access to the corners. There's a kind of workaround, and here's an intermediate tip for those of you watching that are not beginners. And the beginners, you're going to become intermediate before we're done with this. Um, you're going to download a specific app called MobiZen, M-O-B-I-Z-E-N, from the Google Play Store. That's going to be one of the first ones we download. And that not only is going to give you the ability to stop pecking around on tiny keyboards on this thing, but it's going to allow you to control this watch from any web browser on your phone, on your tablet, on your computer, wherever. In the same Wi-Fi zone, as long as you're connected in the same zone, you'll be able to bring up an image of your watch in MobiZen on the browser. The nice thing about that is it's the rectangular image. 
So where we cannot touch the button here, in MobiZen you can. You can you can touch that part and activate it on the watch and do some of the controls and setup. That's been a, a savior for a few of the apps I've installed that need configuration and settings, but you can't get to them, or you need to acknowledge uh, terms and agreements or something, and you just can't get to the button, but you can through MobiZen. So bear with me on that. Those of you advanced, go ahead and download MobiZen, get it all set up, do the, du the dual authenticity confirmation stuff. It's a little bit heady, but you can get through it. Well, we're in the Google Play Store. We don't have to deal with that, thank goodness, on this round watch because Google has implemented another way to get to that information. Again, it's going to display credentials, so I'm actually going to cover part of the screen with my thumb here, and I'm going to swipe in from the edge like this. Okay, and that is now bringing up my information. Uh, if I say my apps, which is right here, this will go in. All right, sprinkling some fairy dust. There we go. We got into it, and there's one app that's installed that needs to be updated. Before we go any further, you want to update all to make sure that the Google app itself is up to date. Oh, a lot of things we got to do. But if you do them in sequence and you do them like this, you're going to really be way ahead in making sure that you've got everything set up the way you want in your watch before you do any app downloading. But now that we are on Google um, Play Store, we can definitely get in there and start downloading some critical apps, which we're going to be doing in the next uh, series of videos. This is going to complete the basic setup video. Except there's one more thing I want to show you. Now that this is installed, we want to come back to the beginning. Notice I changed watch faces on you. Notice, if you have a D5, that you don't have this watch face. <laughs> That's a hint of what's yet to come. Anyway, we're going to go back into settings. One last thing. Part of your basic setup is to go all the way down to the very bottom and about the device and check your numbers, your build number, your version number, so you got an idea of where you're at, and then right here in about device at the top go into wireless update. It gives you a bunch of fine print that you can read if you want to, and then check for updates on uh, over the air and if your system is currently up to date that's what you'll get if it's not and you get an actual update go ahead and install it then come back and check those numbers down at the bottom see if your custom build version and your build number have changed and if they have please let us know in the comments below this video we're trying to keep track of when uh, new uh, updates come out it's critically important for people in the XDA Developers Forum to understand what changes may have happened for implementing future software uh, benefits for all of us. Alrighty, that's it for our basic setup. But please stay tuned. If you haven't subscribed yet, you may want to because you're going to get a peek at some amazing things like these different watch faces that are available free online from contributors like you, to the XDA Developers Forum. We'll have links to that in the show notes down below. If you're not on the channel, youtube.com slash smartwatchticks, then head on over there to see those comments. And we encourage anybody that would like to embed this video or any of our videos in their own website, just go ahead and do it. Uh, we're just trying to get the information out. All righty, thanks again for watching. We will see you in the next series on critical apps that you want to install after your basic setup is complete.